Yeah, I think she got dropped. She's gonna. I hope. I hope she's gonna call back. Yeah. Dude. Um. Can you call back a little? <laughs> yeah. Can you call? Call back. Call back. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you Hopefully know how, you know how blog talk be. Here, you go right, here she go right here. Okay, Yeah, perfect, sorry perfect. about that. Something happened. You got it glitched. No, you good. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, so you you think about the uh, the mysticals. I'm, I remember Daz met those guys before they even got their hands in it. I mean, he was going down there, um, touching with all – before it was popular to go down there to Houston. We were down there in the wards going down there to, 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 to see all these different people. And it was Daz that kind of opened up the door. It was Daz that opened up the door for, like, the E-40s and them. He befriended them. They would come, they were with him. So I just, you know, I think about it. I mean, that dude was young, but his hands were in a lot of places, I mean, music-wise, because he understood the Southern music. He understood the Bay Area music. When nobody wasn't really messing with him like that, he did. You know, he he did. He he opened up the door for a lot of those guys. To be a part of this circle, it was. It, I mean, uh-huh. I just. It just. As I'm talking, I'm just remembering all these different faces, and just going traveling to Houston, Texas, to see these people, or traveling to here to go see them, or going to Tulsa, or going here to go see these people. It was. It, I mean, it was. It was a beautiful thing. I mean, those moments, hip hop history, of Death Row days. What? It just opened up the door. One thing about it, while Dre is credited uh, for a lot of the music. How much does Daz? Uh, how, how 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 we we can't forget Daz's contributions and some of the and the stuff he at done. all. How big how how big was Daz instrumental uh, uh, instrumental? Because I mean, what was tell us about his contributions in terms of the production and all of that in terms of what Death Row was doing at that time as well. Daz got Daz did a lot and didn't get credited for because when you have him and rest in peace Emmanuel Dean. Pochop, uh, they were young kids coming from, you know, they were out of Tulsa. And Dre didn't credit Daz for a lot of things. I mean, Daz was responsible for a lot of the a lot of the music that Dre took credit for. Because we've heard those stories. I love, we've heard those stories a lot of things he did, yeah. Yeah, he did. Daz, Daz was a talent, is a talent. And they, I just think they took his kindness for his weakness. You know, oh, we're going to get these young kids in the studio. We're going to have them working. We're going to get them to do the snares and the drums and do all the loops and all that stuff, but we're not going to give them credit for it. Daz was re- responsible for a lot, a lot, what's, a lot of the What's My Name, all the things at the beginning of the Snoop Dogg album, Daz had his hand on it, and he just did not get no credit, you know. So, you know, people got to give it to him. I mean, I see a lot of these producers getting credit you know, and it kind of infuriates me because I'm like, Daz is better than this person. He came out before him. How is he getting this? How is he getting that? This dude is, this dude's done paved the way. How is he suddenly popular in all this? This dude done set the, <laughs> opened up the, the gate. So it's just, you know, you know, I just think that, you know, Daz is a quiet guy. He didn't, you know, ask for all the, you know, the attributes behind it. He should have pushed and pushed and pushed, you know. It just wasn't him. You know, you see him more vocal these days. He's responsible for a lot of stuff. And believe me, if he told you he did it, nine times out of ten he did. You know, he just didn't get credit for it. Credit for it. Because when we heard that we're being people overlook his contribution. Yeah, yeah, people oh, yeah, I was saying people overlook that uh, his contribution to All Eyes on Me. Like, even people were thinking Dre did that whole album, but I'm like, nah, son, Dad did that, man. This is some Dad of them loops and some of the way he put those beats together. It's, and it's the as a rider and all that. Already. Yeah, I mean, like I tell people when they when the, my, my mind made up, that was Dad's beat. He was using that for something else. Tupac just happened to like that, and he took some of the vocals off and switched it to his stuff. But Dad had created a lot of that, you know, gangster party, you know, a lot of that. I mean. Dude was a genius. He is a genius. You know, they just haven't given him his credit, and he deserves his credit. You know, because he's he's a great producer. He was a he's a part of. And when you say when you say Dr. Dre in those days, you got to say Daz too. Okay, you got to say Emmanuel Dean too. You know, you got to say them too. They were part of it. They were part of that movement. 